Time to look at some more jolly microwave snackages, mainly because uh, they're taking up too much room in my freezer. Let us begin by looking at the Royal Stack. Mmm, yep. All the crowned heads of Europe eat these constantly. It's a serious problem. So, the box is quite similar to the Not Big Mac we reviewed a few weeks ago there. Big Stack, Royal Stack, yeah, you see how that's going. But they've gone for a more Burger King approach, I feel. Hence the Royal, the little picture of a crown, um, the sort of roughened background of the brown paper to differentiate it from the McDonald's design, and the fact that it's quite obviously supposed to be a bacon double cheeseburger thing, isn't it? Look, it's got bacon, it's got two burgers in it, and there's cheese. I think this is pretty, pretty clear. So if you're not aware of the uh, bacon double cheeseburger thing that Burger King do, it's basically kind of that, and it's kind of concentrated stodge. Um, it's a difficult thing to describe if you haven't tried one, but uh, I like them because I like things that are stunningly unhealthy and stodgy, and they do that job incredibly effectively. So, hmm, uh, cooking instructions that we shall be following to the letter? Well, probably, possibly. Come on then. What is it like inside? It looks kind of a bit... Is it a little bit... Um, does it have a greater circumference than the actual Burger King ones? I'm not sure. What I am sure is that those are very thin burgers and the cheese is wrapped, so I must remember to unwrap that before sticking it in the microwave. Right, uh, remove all packaging and set cheese and bacon to one side. OK. Place burgers stacked on top of each other in a microwavable plate. This is all very similar to the Big Mac one, isn't it? Lightly toast the bun in the toaster while they cook. Flip the burgers over, place the bacon on the plate. Cooking all for a further one minute on full power. So it's basically the same as the uh, Big Mac, sorry, the Big Stack whew, um, was to cook except with added bacon. That makes perfect sense. Enjoy it as is, or garnished with your favourite sauce. Do they have sauce in those at Burger King? I don't think they do, do they? No, I'm pretty sure they don't, actually. Right, let's do a sudden jarring cut to having it already cooked. Well, it certainly is a thing, and, and it's a burger thing, I think. Right, I'll do a quick autopsy. Time's coming off quite easily. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, not really sure how I feel about microwave bacon. Oh, wait, yes I am. I hate it. But this is particularly bad. It looks like an alien life form that's been crushed by a steamroller or something. And the world's dampest looking beef burger. Mm -mm -mm. Right, let's see how this compares to the thing from Burger King that I haven't had for ages. But I'm sure I remember the taste. Maybe? Oh. Okay. Um... Ugh, the bun, man. I toasted that bun to perfection, and then you have to put it in the microwave for a minute more. Mm. Oh, God. Oh. With no sauce to take the edge off, it's so salty, it's terrifying. Oh. Do you remember this was a problem with the Big Stack, and the burgers themselves were just sort of overly salty and not very flavourful? Now you can add on the bacon, which again tastes very faintly of something vaguely pork-like and mostly salt. Oh yeah, that's quite a hefty thing. Um, no, you definitely should probably be wanting to put some sauce in that if you're going to eat one to take the edge off it, I think. It's just a load of salt in a bap. I'm going to give it another chance. The cheese helps a bit, but... Oh, horrible moist spongy bun on the bottom. Oh. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that's not great. It tastes like something, I don't know, that's been designed to keep for a thousand years in the hold of a ship or something in case of a shipwreck, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, uh, all salt and not a lot else. Oh, not amazing. Not amazing at all. Right, you can shuffle off to the side. Well, we think about the fact that they've done McDonald's and they've done Burger King. Yep, you guessed it. It's KFC time. So I think this is a Zinger Tower burger. But no, it's a spicy stack. Good old snacksters. So you've got your chicken burgery thing. You've got a bit of cheese. And you've got a hash brown type thing, which I don't think is going to do very well in the microwave at all. And some sauce, which I'm going to presume is spicy. And certainly no lettuce. I think that is what in the trade they call a serving suggestion. Yes, 
please serve it in a red void on some text. Right, how do we cook this one? Um, <laughs> put sauce in a cup of hot, warm water to defrost, not hot water. You'll scold your bones. Set cheese slice and burger bun to one side. Place the hash brown on top of the chicken burger, microwave. Oh, oh, mmm. Don't like this so much. Oh, now do we break the rules? And do we toast the bun? Mmm, I really don't want soggy bun again. Yep, we're totally going to break the rules and attempt to improve it ourselves. There we are. Will it work out? Well, that is a question which will be answered after this sudden, immediate, jarring cut. Haha, -ha, the cut has led you to a surprise! We didn't show it frozen first. It's, you know, traditional. The burger looks disturbingly orange. The hash brown looks fairly normal. Something that did intrigue me. The cheese isn't in a bag this time, look. Hmm, hmm. Anyway, we now take you back to your scheduled jump cut. So this was an interesting one. I ended up following their instructions, but toasting the bun afterwards. Because frankly, it was so soggy and horrible, I couldn't be dealing with it. Um, the actual toasting has made it a little bit crispy, but I will take a little bit crispy over horribly soggy any day of the week, even St. Swithin's Day. Anyway, um, inside, there was a bit of a problem. To be honest, uh, you see this here, well, I've put the sauce in it now, but uh, see the hash brown there? It was still frozen in the middle after their cooking. I had to take it out and do it for about just under another minute. I think it's about another 40, 50 seconds on its own before it actually thawed out in the middle. So not massively impressed by that because you don't want to be like microwaving one of these things in a hurry, which frankly is the only reason you would have one. And then finding out your bloody hash browns still frozen in the middle. Anyway, is it as good? as the Colonel's mighty spicy burger thing. I think we all know the answer to that is going to be maybe. It's not likely, but hey, it's possible. Oh. Okay. Bun is an improvement because it's not soggy. The hash brown isn't too bad. The chicken tastes of nothing. I'm not sure I'd have known there was chicken in there. Hmm. There's a very vague sort of spiciness, certainly nothing like um, the KFC spicy stuff, but then it isn't going to be, I suppose, is it? Um, I put all the sauce in, but it seems remarkably unsaucy. Let's try a larger bite. Hang on. Oh. Mm. Oh, right, got something now. Mmm. Sauce improves it. Mmm. Mmm. Still doesn't taste a whole lot. Yeah, there's now a slight spiciness to it, which, coupled with the fact that it isn't horribly over-salty, I think makes this the best. This is the best of the three burger things we have tried from Snacksters recently, I think. Yep, the lack of horribly salty hoof, eyelid and anus type meat does seem to have improved it. Yeah. Yep, that's it. That gets the points for the finest. If you are in a hurry and you want yourself a cheap microwavable thingamajig and you want one of those for some reason, God, we're putting a lot of conditions on this, aren't we? Look, fact is, this is your best one. Go for it. Or alternatively, get a nicer snack, just like a sandwich or something. Probably going to cost about the same. Anyway, <clears throat> we've got one more before we finish. Du -du 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 Heat me, eat me. God, I hate that name. New and improved. Ooh, breakfast muffins, sausage and cheese. Uh, the products must be cooked in a microwave before eating. Oh, I was just going to run out of the tap for a few minutes. All cooking lines, blah, 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 blah. Mine's a 900 watt, so uh, you always have to reduce the time a bit. I didn't for that. I kind of forgot. And I'm bloody glad I didn't, because I end up frozen in the middle anyway. Duel! Cook on full power for one minute. Place the sausage patty and cheese back into the muffin and cook for further. So basically, put the sausage um, on the side, put the cheese and thing on for the other thing. Mmm, I think I'm going to toast the muffin on this definitely. Damn your instructions. Your instructions be damned, sir! Because I ain't having that happening. Has it got sauce with it? Um, doesn't mention sauce? <laughs> doesn't mention any. I feel like there has to be some sort of ketchup or something on that, but I feel like I shouldn't be adding it if it isn't in the box, do you know what I mean? Let's open it up and have a look. Come on. Nope, the box has decided to disintegrate and we are all doomed, so that's nice. Ah, here we are. 
No, there's definitely no sauce going on in that. This looks worrying. It looks like something that's mummified or already been desiccated. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Oh well, we'll try it and we'll see how we go. And I will not put the sauce on it and be a good boy for the purity of the product for review or something. I don't know. Right, time to have a weird transition like the old 60s Batman series. Well, there we are. It, it looks like a freshly built dustman's hat. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> How is this going to be improved, then? Well, I don't know. I don't recall having one of the original ones, so that's going to be slightly difficult. Um, mm, I, I'm certain I've had one in the past. I might have even done a bloody video on, like, a different one, but there we are. Hmm, very anemic-looking muffin, but there we go. It's not... Hmm. 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 Let's look at that picture again. That's that's like getting to the point of false advertising now, isn't it? Look at this massive spiced sausage meat bap in the middle, and look, it's, it's nowhere near as large for starters. What is going on? Heat me, eat me, right? What company makes these? Uh, Summit Foods Limited on Bamber Bridge, Preston. Mmm, mmm. I call fire on you, Summit Foods. That's all a bit dubious. Right, here we go. Oh, actually, before I bite into it, I'm going to fail to forget to mention for once that I stream on Twitch every week. Twice a week at the moment, actually, something we started when Covid hit last year. Been doing it for about three years now, and we have daft quizzes and stupid games and all all the sorts of stuff you would expect from an idiot like me. So, uh, yeah, it's Wednesdays, 8.30pm UK time, Sundays, about 8, 8.15pm UK time. <laughs> Do join us if you have the capability to visit a website. Right, let's see what this is about then. Oh, God, I'm going to bite this end. It looks like it's about to bite back, but we'll see how it runs. Hmm, uh, well, it's cooked. Um, ooh. You've got that typical spice they always have in sort of cheap sausage meat. There's a weird plasticness to it as well. I should mention, by the way, I absolutely eschewed their bloody plan of putting the muffin in the microwave and did toast it, and thank God I did. Um, uh, oh, this isn't good at all. It really isn't good. Even the muffin's not great, and I bloody toasted it. I suppose they didn't freeze well or something. Hmm. Nope. I mean, the meat's not unpleasant because it's got the spiciness to it, but it's a slightly odd texture to it. Oh. No. No, not down for that, I'm afraid. Oh. No, I think... I think that's better than the Royal Stack, but not as good as the Big Stack, and certainly not as good as the Spicy Stack, which is definitely 100% the winner today. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -ba. I think it's the old thing, you know? This is spicy. It's got spices in it. And it's got sauce on it, which is also spicy. The sauce is quite good, actually. Um, I think that's the thing, isn't it? The spice, and especially the sauce, covers up the flavour of the not particularly fantastic ingredients cooked in a manner which, frankly, is suboptimal at best. Um, yeah. That's... Oh. <clears throat> oh. Oh, dear. Got a bad taste with it, and then a bit just flew down my throat and nearly choked me. What a way to go. He died as he lived, choking on a heat-me-eat-me breakfast muffin, sausage and cheese. <laughs> uh, it'd cost a lot to put that on a tombstone, wouldn't it? be a lot of engraving. Right then. Uh, yeah. That's it, really. I suppose if you're stuck somewhere and you want a quick old snack, go for the one with the spicy and has sauce, generally, because that's certainly how things have uh, worked out here. Well, there we go. As my friend said the other day, when we were talking about such things, he said, it's a very expensive way to buy small amounts of bad food, isn't it, these microwave things? And unfortunately, often that is a true thing. But the spicy stack was sort of all right, so yeah. Right, boy, boy.